Hello, my name is Kudzai and I want to welcome you once again to On The Money, a financial education program brought to you by Old Mutual. It's been an exciting, wonderful, powerful journey as we've been learning about the big five secrets of money management. You recall that when we started, we spoke around how all of us have different money personalities. Some of us behave like ostriches, which hide from situations, and yet others behave like peacocks who are flamboyant and showy. People have different money personalities, but we know that money habits can be changed. You can move from bad habits to good habits. And these are the things we've been learning in the past few episodes as we spoke and learned from the big five, the animals that are found in Africa. We learned from the various secrets of the leopard, where we said the secret is planning. And this is not just any ordinary planning. This is planning that is driven by strong, powerful, compelling visions where you begin to see the things you want to be. You see the end in mind and you work backwards and say to yourself, how do I attain my short term, my medium term and my long term goals? And so you can change your money habits into positive ones by simply adopting the secret of the leopard, planning based on powerful, compelling visions. And so the simple call to action for you as we begin to close around the big five is for you to make sure that you develop a powerful, robust, compelling financial plan that excites you as an individual. Every one of us has things we aspire to buy, things we aspire to do, places where we want to go. All of those things, the reasonable ones and the outlandish dreaming things we want to do can all be a part of your big, audacious financial plan. So go ahead and learn from the secret of the leopard and develop a personal financial plan for yourself. We also learned from the secret of the elephant. And this was a powerful secret where we say that the elephant never forgets. It uses its past knowledge to help it to survive in the jungle or in the forest on the daily. In the same way, you and I can learn from the elephant, knowing that an investment in knowledge always pays the best dividends. And the secret of the elephant was summarized in a very simple way. We called it budgeting. Where you begin to plan for your money. You take note of your income, you take note of your expenses, and the desire or the end goal is for you to be able to balance. That way you can be in charge and in control of how your money moves in and out. You can be able to prioritize the things that are important to you. And after all has been said and done, that budget is a powerful tool that helps you to manage your money on a daily basis, on a monthly basis, on an annual basis, and indeed, all of those small blocks will add up to an entire life where you know how to manage money based on past knowledge. You see, if you take care of the cents, then the dollars will take care of themselves. And so do begin to use a budget. That is the simple call to action from the secret of the elephant. Make sure you record your income, and at the same time, make sure that you track your expenses on the daily. That way, you can be sure where you're coming from, where you're going, and you can be able to plan into the future. The next secret that we looked at was the secret of the lion, where we say that the lion is a powerful king of the jungle, but in its ecosystem, the lionesses do all of the hunting and the male lions eat first because they take care of the rest of the pride. They protect the pride. In the same way, we learned from the lion that you must pay yourself first. Always make sure that when you receive your income, you take out something which you set aside to protect you in the day of trouble, and also something that you set aside to help you to tide over the not so good times in life. This secret is the secret of saving. But saving ought not to be for negative things only. You also can use the secret of the lion, which is saving, to do positive things. Things that you cannot be able to attain or be able to pay for in a month or in a week, you can be able to save for them over time. That is the secret of the lion. And so here's a challenge to you. Begin to teach yourself to save. Remember that we said it is important that you set aside at least 10% of your income. But if you cannot, it's a good start just to select a number. It's like that game, pick a card any card. In that same way, pick a number, any number that you can consistently set aside. Because for the secret of the lion to work for you, you do need 
to be consistent. And if you teach yourself not to consume everything that you make, then indeed you have mastered the basis of wealth creation, which is saving. Go ahead, make that decision and begin to save. Remember that you need to choose a place for saving that fits the type of things you want to aspire towards. And so you can save in a bank account if you're in an environment where inflation will not hit that account. Alternatively, you can look at some of the different ways of saving that work in the places that you are in. It could be through unit trusts, it could be through a savings club, it could even be through putting your money in small livestock. You find a way that works for you, but after all has been said and done, master the secret of the lion, which is saving. You will recall as well that we took a look at the secret of the rhino, and we learned from the rhino that you can charge down your debt. You see, when a rhino is under attack, it does not hesitate to begin to charge down or to charge in the direction of that which is threatening it. Many times we can master some of the secrets that we've learned before. We can be great at planning, learning from the leopard. We can be covering our budget so well and balancing every month without fail. We can be doing great in terms of saving, setting aside money every month, setting aside money every week, setting aside money every year according to the secret of the lion. But all of these good things can be undone so easily if we do not master the secret of the rhino. And this secret is about charging down your debt. Remember we said, there are two types of debt, the good debt and the bad debt. The good debt is the type that enables you to be productive, where you borrow, but from the money that you borrow, you can be able to make more money. So you've got to do the math. But on the other side is the bad kind of debt. And that's the kind of debt we discouraged, where we said, where you find yourself borrowing in order to consume, borrowing to eat, borrowing to, to wear nice clothing, borrowing to live in a certain environment or learn at a certain place. All of those things are things we said we can begin to teach ourselves to let go of and train ourselves to save and indeed to invest towards the things that we want. And so the secret of the rhino is very simple. If you're already in debt, begin to charge down your debt. Sit down and look and list the number of debts that you have. For every debt, put in a figure. Take a look at which ones have the highest interest. Take all those ones first. Because you see, when you get the bigger ones that have higher interest out of the way, you can begin to see yourself making progress. So sometimes it's not because there's an invisible enemy fighting you. It's just the math. Make sure you take a look at the interest and you treat the biggest debts first. It's also important to think around strategies to get you out of debt. Relook your life. Think about things you can reduce. Think about things you can remove. You see, all of these secrets work together. And so if you're going to charge down debt, it's necessary that you revisit as well your budget and rejig your life, rework your life, and you begin to walk and work in the direction of your dreams. And last but not least, we looked into the secret of the buffalo, where we said this is the secret of investing. We learned how the buffaloes are often found in large groups, upwards of 450, 500 even, in a herd. And that way, they stay protected. Buffaloes do not grow to become a herd in a day. This is done over time. The secret of the buffalo is investing over time. Recall that we said it is important to understand yourself as an investor. An investor is simply someone who puts money in a place where it can grow. We emphasized the value of compound interest, putting your money in places where it will make more money and the money that has been made will also make more money. Very, very important. Different people will look for different types of return on their investments. But at the same time, in as much as there are many different avenues to invest in, it could be property, it could be the stock market, it could be the money market. Every one of us has a different risk profile. Some want very secure investments where they are guaranteed of a return and they know upfront exactly what they're going to get for every dollar. Those ones who are more risk averse can choose the money market, can perhaps go to the property market where there isn't too much of shaking. Those that are looking perhaps for 
a higher risk type investment where more often than not there's the potential for a higher return can play in the stock market as well as other alternative investments where there are more movements up and down. But you will recall also that we said it is important as an investor to be responsible. Don't just put money in an investment and completely forget about it. You want to make sure that you stay in touch with the particular institution you're investing with, speak to the fund managers, read the rubric, make sure you understand everything that you are investing in. Because after all has been said and done, you want to make sure you get into an investment that you are comfortable with. And those investments will be the things that you can fall on. They will give you a soft lending in the time of trouble, but also, more importantly, they can give you a soft lending when a time comes where you cannot actively work. Remember that your investments as well must be there for the short-term requirements, your medium-term requirements, and long-term requirements like your retirement or perhaps purchasing a property in the long run or leaving a legacy for loved ones. Last but not least, around investments, we highlighted the fact that after having secured all of these assets over time, having secured these investments, you want to make sure that you protect them. And herein comes the benefit of insurance. There's short-term insurance, which will help you to cover assets you have secured in the short term, things like your vehicle. But there's also long-term insurance, which will help you to cover things like property and indeed to cover your very life. And so in summary, these are the exciting things we've been learning from the Big Five Secrets of Money Management. From the leopard, that you and I must have compelling visions that force us to begin to behave better in terms of managing our money. Once we have a powerful plan, that inspires us to do better in money management. We also learned from the elephant how it is important that we budget our money. Don't give excuses. Don't say I have too little or I don't have the time. It's important to take care of the small amounts and thereafter we will develop the aptitude and the ability to take care of bigger amounts. So learn from the elephant how to budget. Indeed, we said it is important to learn as well from the lion. Save, set aside something. Don't consume everything you make. As you set aside something, this can then be used to invest and to make you more money from the money that you have right now. We learned from the rhino that it is important that we charge down our debt. If you are in debt, you won't be able to progress as easily as you should. Only use debt where it is leverage, where it helps you to get ahead on things that will give you back money or put money back in your pocket. And then finally, we learn from the buffalo how it is important that we invest. Make money, manage it well, but from the money that you've made, make sure that you set aside money that will make you even more money and make sure that you secure every investment that you make with insurance. And so these are the powerful lessons we've been learning. I hope you've had a great time. I've really enjoyed being with you. I've enjoyed you bringing in your family and your friends and bringing in all of those folks who are always asking you for an extra dollar. It's been a powerful time. It's been an inspiring time. It's been a learning time. And I hope with these foundations of how you can best manage money, you can be able to go out and change your financial trajectory. Remember that managing money will always be much, much more important than making it. Make the money, but after all has been said and done, make sure that you manage that money well. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining us for every one of these episodes as we looked at the big five secrets of money management. We've given you the tools, we've given you the basics. So it is now up to you to go out and begin to act on these things. And indeed, as you do so, you will move from bad money habits towards good money habits. And all of these habits, when they come together, will help you attain your financial freedom. My name is Kudzai. It's been an honor to walk on this journey with you. So go out and be awesome. Cheers. Cheers.